Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are going to be making my easy turkey sliders. So first you're going to need some Hawaiian bread or any type of slider bread, but I prefer Hawaiian bread. And next, of course, you're going to need your turkey as well as your cheese of choice. And for today, I'm going to be using pepper jack. You're also going to need some butter. <laughs> as well as a knife and a pastry brush. You're also going to need some seasonings of your choice as well as some Pam spray and a little container to mix in our little sauce concoction that we will be doing in just a bit. Alright, so let's get started. So I am removing the Hawaiian bread from out of the packaging and placing it onto my tray. Now I'm going to take that knife I have and I'm going to just try to neatly cut the bread into two pieces evenly so we can open it up and get to creating our sandwiches. So once the bread is neatly cut in half, I am going to go ahead and take half of my butter stick and melt it in the microwave. Then I'm going to add in some minced garlic, some parsley flakes, a little bit of salt, pepper, onion powder, as well as some garlic powder. And I am going to use this mixture to brush on top of my bread to give it some extra flavor. So now I'm going to go ahead and spray down my pan with some non-stick spray. I'm going to place my bread back into the pan and get started with brushing that mixture all on the bottom piece of the bread. Next I'm going to add my cheese. I used two different types of pepper jack cheese because your girl was running out. <laughs> But this recipe is so easy and you can literally use almost anything you have in your home. So next I am going to take my turkey and just continue adding as many slices as I desire onto the slider. After I'm done, I'm going to take that butter mixture and brush it out all through the top and the sides of the sliders. It is so delicious. Like this is the most important step you need to do when making these sliders. It's going to make them taste so good. It's not going to be the same without it. Trust me. After I'm done, I'll go ahead and pop my sliders into the oven on 350 for 20 minutes and then I take them out. You want them to have that nice toasted golden brown color. So after they're done, I'm going to go ahead and add some more of that butter mixture on top and wham bam, we are done. This looks so good and I promise you it tastes even better. Mm, look at that glaze. Look at them just glistening. Mm, you know you want one. So after you're done, you can go ahead and cut your sliders and serve them. Mm, look at that. Look at that cheese. Mm, so, 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 so delicious. bomb bomb yes mm. so 
so that is it for today's video guys i hope you all enjoyed this quick fun tutorial on how i make my sliders they have been a hit on instagram as i have been making them a lot during this quarantine because they are so convenient and again you can literally use anything in your house so once again i hope you all enjoy please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and comment down below what type of videos you would like to see next from me and i'll catch you in the next one bye